Productivity, it's the level of efficiency of an economy. If you can produce more with the same level of inputs, you have higher productivity. Better human skills, uh, improvements in uh, organizational capital, different way of organizing and managing things. So in order to uh, achieve the same level of uh, economic growth uh, or to increase it, you need higher labor productivity. Productivity is not everything, but in the long run, it is almost everything. The problem is that the benefits of technological change, uh, they have not diffused widely uh, throughout the economies. There has been a decline in uh, competition in markets. When you have the rise of monopoly power, uh, uh, and a weakening of competition, that is not uh, good for a wider diffusion of technologies and, and for uh, uh, future innovation, because competition is a major force that promotes these kinds of outcomes. If you have billions in the bank, it's easy to buy your competitor before they even have a chance, assemble more data, be less competitive. And this is kind of the vicious circle that we have to break. A number of companies are essentially data companies and advertising companies. And uh, they're commercially driven. Uh, that's not a surprise, but they fill a lot of spaces where the public debate takes place, where political debates take place. And so there's a lot of questions about, you know, what it means when advertising giants are actually designing the information architecture of our democratic society. If there's not a fair market, innovation is stifled. If there's only a handful of very comfortable, very wealthy players, then small competitors, innovative startups don't get the chance that they deserve. Thank you.